Alright guys, so I'm back and I read your comments about yesterday's video with the sleeper build. It sounded like you guys were concerned, man. What's going on? You guys were asking for like temperatures, noise, stuff like you think it's gonna blow up. It's just fine. Just relax a little bit. So today, what we're gonna do is benchmark the system. I'm gonna get you guys temperatures, noise recordings, all that crap so you guys can hear. And so I can show you guys this thing's not gonna blow up. It's actually doing just fine. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about and you missed yesterday's video, basically I put together a Ryzen sleeper build. It's got modern hardware and this super old case. It looks legit. You would never know what's inside. It's basically got a Ryzen 5 1600 in it, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a B350 motherboard, an RX 580, 480 gigabyte SSD, 650 watt power supply and the, then this piece of junk case. So let's talk about the overclock. So for the CPU, I'm running at 3.8 gigahertz on 1.362 volts with the uh, mode three LLC. Got the RX 580 overclock to 1425 on the core clock and 2240 on the memory clock. And the RAM's running at 2666 megahertz with a uh, cast latency of 14. And uh, I think that's all the relevant information in regards to that. So. Uh, as far as temperatures go, all the testing was done with the ambient temp at 28 degrees Celsius and at idle with the Arctic Freezer 33 CPU cooler. I don't know if I listed that in the specs earlier, but uh, it was idling at 38.9 degrees Celsius. Now, under gaming, playing a uh, game of Battlefield 1, like 64 player conquest map I think I was on, I had a peak temperature of 69.3 degrees Celsius, so not too bad. Now, I did stress test this as well. I ran an X264 stability test, and during that, after eight loops, we had a peak temperature of 79 degrees Celsius. As for the RX 580 under gaming, we had a max temp of 77 degrees Celsius. Now, if you guys don't know, I actually tested this CPU and GPU combo in a previous build. Uh, in a Rosewell Cullinan with an AIO instead of this uh, Arctic cooler. I will say that with the, uh, in regards to the GPU and this sleeper setup, uh, we are adding like 10 degrees onto the uh, GPU temperature. So uh, it could use some additional intake fans or something like that uh, to help it out a little bit, but not really stressing Polaris at all. There's uh, no really long-term issues that we have to worry about. It's just running a little bit hotter, but this GPU, actually the fans don't even turn on on the uh, stock fan curve until 55 degrees Celsius anyways, so really, it's not really sweating at all. And as far as the CPU, I only added like three or four degrees, switching from the uh, AIO to this air cooler and then into the uh, different case. So again, uh, no issues really at all. So temperatures are just fine. They're well within their thresholds. There's always room for improvement, but it's not gonna blow up, so relax. <laughs> I did get a little sound recording for you guys as well so you can hear how the system sounds at idle and under load. Fortunately, I don't have like any DV meter or anything like that, so I can't get, uh, you know, something a little better than this, but uh, maybe in the future we'll look into that. Anyways, here's the system at idle. And at load. All right, now let's get into the gaming benchmarks here. I only ran a few of these. I didn't go too crazy because as I mentioned, I actually already tested this CPU and GPU combo. So if you guys wanna see more benchmarks, you can click the link in the uh, top right hand corner and uh, you can see more there. But I decided to just run a few for you guys here or retest them just so you guys can get an updated, uh, some updated numbers in this case here. So as you guys can see from the gaming benchmarks, this thing's definitely no slouch. When it comes to ultra settings at 1080p, it definitely holds its own. So uh, no issues with it there. I actually uh, was able to enjoy my gameplay just fine. 
Also went ahead and threw in a synthetic benchmark for you guys just to, uh, I don't know, mix it up a little bit, show you something different. Maybe you guys can compare your scores to mine and uh, see what you hit. But uh, yeah, that will pretty much do it for this uh, build, guys. Thanks for watching and liking the last video. That was pretty dope. Um, I'm going to let this thing hang out for a little bit and hopefully we can get some new uh, equipment or equipment, some new hardware in here so we can kind of give Ryzen a rest. I feel like I've been covering the hell out of it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I got to say. I'm out of here. Until next time, see ya.